Item number SCP-1290 Index Imperfect Teleporter Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Research sites 48 Alpha and 48 Beta have been established around the branch facilities housing SCP-1290-1 and SCP-1290-2, respectively. Activation experiments involving SCP-1290 have been indefinitely suspended, pending a better understanding of its operational principles. Description SCP-1290 is a pair of prototype electronic devices that were built by Prometheus Labs as part of research into long-range teleportation. Each device consists of a platform 2 meters in diameter, attached to a 5 meter by 20 meter by 3 meter main unit, both of which draw power from a dedicated generator. The two copies of SCP-1290 are located at diametrically opposed antipodal locations of the Earth, with SCP-1290-1 located in Redacted Columbia and SCP-1290-2 located in Redacted Singapore. When an object is placed on the platform of SCP-1290-1, and the main unit is activated, the object is instantaneously, up to 10 milliseconds delay, teleported to the platform of SCP-1290-2. However, due to what is suspected to be a design or engineering flaw, the object retains its orientation and velocity relative to the axis of the Earth. That is, when a stationary object enters SCP-1290-1, it exits SCP-1290-2, upside down and traveling east, at approximately 930 meters per second. See Addendum 1290-01 for more information. SCP-1290 came to the Foundation's attention following the closure of the Prometheus Labs main facility and was secured and contained on by elements of Mobile Task Force Mu-4 debuggers. The Chief Engineer in charge of SCP-1290, Dr. Redacted, is wanted for questioning by the Foundation and has yet to be located. SCP-1290 is currently being reverse-engineered by Foundation research teams in an effort to understand and replicate its technology. Addendum 1290-01 Incident Report Initial Activation Experiment on In order to establish the functionality of SCP-1290, Foundation researchers attempted to teleport a regulation 14-pound 6.35-kilogram bowling ball from SCP-1290-1 to SCP-1290-2, resulting in three casualties and severe damage to the research facility and a neighboring warehouse. Until SCP-1290 is fully functional and the source of this flaw is identified, activation experiments have been suspended until further notice.